So giving credit where it's due, Google has really managed to keep the Pixel 6 series out of the hands of leakers throughout 2021. And that means we actually haven't seen just what the device looks like, save some renders being actually shared by Google themselves. A new ad though, direct from Google, has given us a brief glimpse of the actual physical in the hand hardware for the very first time. Plus on top of that, we have some information about a potential Android 12.1 release coming a little bit before Android 13 and after Android 12. So let's dive in. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So if you cast your mind back just over a month after that first preview or kind of soft launch, Google has released the very first Pixel 6 ad. And this 30 second video has provided, like we mentioned previously, our first real non-rendered glimpse of the hardware, which always beats a render, even if those official renders were previously interesting at the very least. So the ad itself, that starts by talking up Android 12 and Material U, but it serves as a teaser with the Pixel 6 Pro in gold or a kind of a champagne color, hitting screens for less than a few milliseconds. Through the magic of editing though, we can get a slightly longer look and even in those weird lighting conditions, you get a better indication of just what we might be expecting. The bump itself is something that we, a lot of people were concerned about and it does look a lot smaller than at least I personally anticipated but that visor is still pretty sizable compared to those on previous Pixel devices. There's also, again, very brief glimpses of the 6 Pro in gold uh, slightly later on, this time in someone's palm fully. It's grainy, but there's quite a nice color transition between that top subsection and that bottom portion via that black visor that's acting as a nice separator. Then we get the cleanest look at the Pixel 6 Pro in silver and gray, which we must admit looks a lot less boring than it does in a render. And I think personally, those initial renders don't really do this device justice, or at least they don't from this brief glimpse that we've had. And then finally, we get that followed by another poorly lit look at that color again, not really showing a ton of massive difference, but it does give you an indication of just how big it will be in the hand. Early renders, of course, showcase that sort of red and pink design, and that gets a little bit of airtime even in a blurry image, it's easily one of the standout colors of the lineup and we can understand why people really are looking forward to seeing this in the flesh. Some of that is likely owed to the fact that it was attached to the device kind of early on from those early leaked renders, but this is a striking colorway even from that brief glimpse. So that's all we really get in terms of a brief hands-on look at the Pixel 6 series, the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro, and it's likely as much as Google really wants to show us at this stage so we only really get to see three color options and you might have actually realized on top of that there's no actual live device usage just a few snippets of the design well later in the clip we actually get to see what is a pre-rendered or what we assume is a pre-rendered or an accurate representation of the display and more importantly the bezels uh, or at least on one of the handsets which looks to be a lot like the pixel 6 pro Unfortunately, it seems as though uniform screen bezels on all sides are kind of going to be off the menu for 2021. There is a very slightly larger chin with the other side bezels the same on three sides, so at least there's some uniformity there. There's probably a fairly solid reason for this, but it is, it is admittedly pretty sad to see that the Pixel 5 is still the only Android phone to date to come with uniform bezels on all sides. Maybe with the next generation, Pixel 7 and onwards, we'll see it come back, but for now, you're gonna to have to deal with a slightly larger chin, even though it is pretty small, given those pre-rendered look at it. Overall, in a 30 second click, we probably get a cumulative four, maybe five seconds of the actual Pixel 6 and 6 Pro in the flesh. That's barely enough for anything, but it's enough of us to kind of break down and give you a glimpse and better idea of what the hardware is gonna look like when it does come to market. And it definitely does whet the appetite for much more, which we're obviously eager to learn and see more about as we don't yet have a launch date, the only clue in this ad still being fall 2021. So that's the Pixel 6 news, well, a lot of it so far. We have had some other findings though about a potential Android 12.1 that we wanted to share, which could be the first mid-cycle launch since Android 8.1 Oreo back in December 2017. So let's start with the background. Thanks to some digging, we now know that the internal code name for Android 13 is going to be Tiramisu and will be based upon API level 33. So for those of you probably not following, 
Currently, Android 12 will be API 31, and Android code changes suggest that an API level 32 update will be known as SC-32. In this instance, SC is basically just shorthand or code shorthand for Android 12, aka Snowcomb. SC-V2 in the code change that has been spotted heavily implies that Snowcone or Android 12 will get a version 2. So in almost every case over the last 13 years of Android's history, a change to the API level has coincided with a change to Android's version number wholesale. However, this will be the first time since 2017 that Google has felt the need to put out a second mid-cycle upgrade for a particular Android version. At that time, Android Oreo got a bump from 8.0 to 8.1 at the end of the year, with the update actually debuting on Pixel and Nexus phones. A similar mid-cycle 0.01 refresh or release schedule also occurred following Android Nougat and Lollipop. And following that pattern, it's quite possible that this SC-V2 update might be called Android 12.1 when it does launch. Now this is notable as clearly there are enough important changes for Google to seemingly justify a mid-cycle refresh, but it's also drastic enough that Google couldn't seemingly add it with all of the upcoming Android 12 changes upon launch, while also ensuring that their API is kept stable for developers. Naturally, it's gonna be far too early to say when this apparent Android 12.1 release might arrive, but something is clearly afoot here, and we're sure some of you might instantly point to the upcoming Pixel 6 and 6 Pro launching with this version, while the rest of us get a Android 12.0 flat update, the truth is though, we simply just do not know at this stage, but we did want to share with you. So that's only a tiny portion of the Pixel 6 and a little portion of Android news that we thought needed a bit more of a closer look and we thought we'd explain to you just what is happening. And we naturally would love to know your thoughts of the first in the flesh Pixel 6 and 6 Pro images that Google has shared. Naturally, if you wanna check out the ad for yourself and you haven't seen it, this, the trailer is in the link in the description if you haven't spotted that already. I'd also love to hear your theories on this potential Android 12.1 build and any tidbits you might have of your own that you think would be worth sharing. With all of that said though, I just wanna say thanks for watching. But until next time, this is Damien with 95Google bidding you farewell and I will speak to you later.